Hi, my name's Giselle. I'm Felicia. And I'm Caitlin. And today we're reading How Full Is Your Bucket? Written by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer and illustrated by Marie Manning. The reason why you should read is because it helps your brain grow. It's your bucket. Felix was putting one of the last block on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scolded. Go away. You're too little. I'm big. Stay back. You'll knock it over. I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. Uh, Felix. Whack! Grandpa? Shut the fuck up. Felix, you just tripped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket. Hmm. Sometimes Felix cannot quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning, when Felix woke up, there it was. A small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I got a meeting this morning, and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Fun fact, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so don't skip it. <laughs> go. Felix slipped and Coco eat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom. He should have used a stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big, invisible drips spilled out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched, her sh crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, Golden Mom. In fact, dogs cannot eat chocolate, so don't try to feed chocolate to dogs. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa wheat and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the last muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look, it's Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Felix, psst. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Rip. It was still morning, and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he, would see, he secretly hoped that they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped in his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Miss Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned as he felt a big drop land in his bucket. Drop. The Giganotosaurus by Who Wanted a Pet by me, Felix. The class grew quiet <clears throat> and they laughed at all the right places and ooed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped, even Emily, who sat next to him and usually didn't like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole dro sh shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Burst into the door after school, he shouted, You're right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. And then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he scowled. Then he thought, Dogs might have invisible buckets, too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Well, <laughs> until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? And so they did. Fun fact, helping others can help you feel better, too. Thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs> we, come here, Felicia. 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 Cooperate with me. Sit over here. Are you <laughs> Was your hair stuck in something? Yes. Okay, let's.
Let's record. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm too tall. Thanks for watching.